Hi, this is Ronnie Bincer, the Hangout Helper, and I've got a couple of extra fantastic guests with me. We've got Andy Lyons and Dan Forbes, and what we're going to be doing is going to be walking through the process of how do you set up what's called a lower third, or some people call it a banner. So I'm going to turn it on and so you can see what I'm talking about. There it is. Okay. So that thing right there is what's called the lower third. So if I, if I point to it, you can see it right there. It self-identifies. It helps people know what my name is and maybe my website. If you look below there, it's thehangouthelper.com. And I am. I'm the Hangout Helper. So that's me. And we want to make sure that Dan and Andy can be known as to who they are. So we're going to want to figure out how to turn these things on or how to build them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen first and then you guys can build and learn while I'm doing that. So here we go. I'm going to turn on inside the tools a thing called screen share and get that up here. So now you should be seeing the inside. We're seeing, um, we're seeing Dan and I can change that, but right now this, this is probably fine. We're also noticing on the left side, I'm, I'm moving my mouse over to an area. It's called the hangout toolbox. That's the tool that we need to have loaded. And if you don't have it loaded, that's another process. But let's just pretend you already have it. Okay. With it selected, you will get this thing over on the right side opened up. And on the very, very top, the leftmost icon is the lower third. So we want to make sure that one's selected and you will see the same things I'm seeing. So do the two of you, you have that ready to go, right? Yes, we do. Yes. Fantastic. The By default, it automatically puts in your name and leaves the second line blank. And if you simply go in the upper right corner and click the button that says off to be on, it will show it. So there. you guys turn them on and there you go. So yes. Fantastic. Okay, there you go. So now you've turned on the default setting and now we'll come back to my screen and I'm going to turn it off again because what I'd like to do is maybe change something. So go ahead and turn yours off in the upper right and then the first thing that you might want to change is save the color. Right now it's blue so we can click on that. It brings you to a color picker and I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I'm just going to click on a color, say I like that color and then turn it on again. And so why don't you guys try that. No one's seeing mine because we're sharing my screen. That's why you don't see mine come up right away. So if you just choose a random color, you'll see. There we go. Dan, you guys talk for a second so we can get yours yep. on screen. I've got mine, of course, in turquoise. Yes, I have title chosen blue. bright green. Okay. So back to my screen again. So I'm going to turn it back off. And the other thing that's common that people are going to want to do is after their name, they're going to want to maybe put a website. So I'm going to type in www.thehangouthelper.com. Why don't you guys put in a web website address for you guys, for I your own? I have a question, Ronnie Vincer. Do, yeah. we, do you recommend, because I've heard it go both ways, do you recommend the website go to the right of your name for everybody to see? or do you? Uh, great question. I was going to answer that in a second here. So why don't you put it on the bottom first, because that's how most people start it, and then we'll look at another option. All right. What Andy was asking about was, can I take this and put it by my first name, you know, by the first line? Mm -hmm. And then if I turn it on, and I'll turn off the screen share for a second so you can see the mess. It looks good, except it's a little big, right? So in my case, because the name of my website's a little too long, if the website is primary, I'm going to do this. Right, just put it up there, big old honking thing. And if I needed to, I can make the second line my name. And that way I have the website primary and then my name underneath it. So it just depends on how long your website is. Now, there's another feature or function that I'm going to turn on just, so you, just to remind everybody what it looks like. Is we can add in the icon or a graphic of any kind. I just happen to use my profile image because it's part of the branding for me. Um, you guys can do that and what I'm going to do is do my screen share again and bring everybody into the insides, the guts. So now underneath these two lines, which is what we've been typing, there's the color and below that there's a little button that says choose file. And if I were to click on that and go dig around my computer, I'd be able to find my graphic that I want to bring up there. And, and the size, is, if I remember right, is about 75 
by 75 pixels. That's probably the best size, 75 pixels by 75 pixels. But regardless, just stick something in there. It'll resize it, see what happens. So why don't you guys turn yours on, choose a file, go grab something, and see what you get. Yeah, I actually picked one that's 150 by 150, so let's see what that looks like. And there it is. Okay. Good. Okay, There's so, mine. Good. Yeah, so it's going to resize based on that. So basically, mm -hmm. that's what you do when you have it set the way you like. Then scroll down a little bit more. There's a thing called presets. Type in the name that you like for it and hit save, and it'll then save it. And then for that particular computer and that browser combination, it'll be saved and ready for you to use at any time. There it is. I see a little green circle with a plus on it. Right. So I'm going to turn off my screen share for a second and then go through all kinds of interesting things. So what I've got, because I do this all the time, I have a bunch of these presets. So here's one. When I'm recording people, I'll let them know with that. When I'm needing to add some marketing stuff, I do that. When I need to cool. show off the regular thing, I do that. You know, So I just go through my list. And you can even get fancy, like what I'm doing here. I've got something that's somewhat translucent so you can see through it. Mm -hmm. The reason why that's nice is you can do all kinds of branding. And, and basically, you can have, I mean, you can cover up the whole screen with stuff. <laughs> In fact, that's honest. Let's talk about that. We can cover up the screen. Here's me covering the screen. So wow. when I when I need to disappear, I make yeah. myself a full screen overlay. And custom, so what custom overlay? These are called custom overlays, right? Right. And so for those that want to know, the size of a custom overlay is 640 by 360. 640 pixels by 360 pixels. Now we're now, can probably we go back. Can I ask a question? Um, you can quickly the, because we're about done. Um, at as the very far as beginning, the yeah. at the very beginning, if someone hasn't. Uh, loaded the Hangout toolbox yet, they need to go to apps and select it and install it? Yeah, that's why I said if you need that help, we need to go somewhere else and do it a different time. But basically, okay. yeah, if you have an app, you can share that with anybody else. So since you already have the app and you're going to hang out with someone else, when you turn it on, they can grab it from you. So that's probably the easiest way. The Great. other way is you use the little add more apps app thing, app yeah. picker, and I then you can go grab it. Yeah. Thank so, you, Ronnie. Thank You're you, welcome. Ronnie. That's been uh, Ronnie Vincer. Let's see, which one do I have on there? This one. There's me. There's the hangouthelper.com. Um, hopefully, this was helpful for you. We're going to turn this into a nice video and share it around, and hopefully, everyone will figure out what they're wanting to do with their Hangout lower thirds, which is part of the Hangout toolbox. And oh, one last thing. There's a button. If everything looks backwards to you, click the button that says mirror my own video and then it'll look forward. But regardless whether it looks backwards to you or not, it never looks backwards to anybody else. <laughs>